Hello, hello to all of our students joining in to the webinar this evening. Welcome, welcome to the Georgia Virtual College Fair powered by Stryscan. I want to welcome all of our students who are joining us this evening. Students, couple things before I pass it off to our college representatives. If at any point during the evening you have a question, please go ahead and use that Q&A button that's at the bottom of your screen. There is no chat in these webinars and also your camera and microphone are off so our presenters can't see or hear you, um, but you can use that Q&A as much as you'd like. Um, if you do have a specific question for a certain university, please go ahead and make sure to type that in there just so you make sure to get the correct person responding to you. Also, you don't have to ask the question when that person's presenting. You can ask any question throughout the 45 minutes we are together this evening. Um, also, uh, StriveScan offers more sessions in the future, so please take a look um, on their website for any additional college fairs that are coming up in the future. And this recording uh, will be available on that same website where you registered for this event uh, shortly. So without further ado, I am going to pass it off to our presenter from Augusta University. Daniel, I think you're on mute. There we go. Awesome. So my name is Daniel Browning and I'm an admissions counselor with Augusta University. Uh, joined with me tonight in the chat is my colleague Grace Welsh. Uh, she was also a uh, student as well as myself here at Augusta University. So we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have uh, throughout the night. Awesome. So to start us off, Augusta University is located in Augusta, Georgia. We're right on the border of South Carolina and Georgia. Um, and so we are actually a public institution. We're a four year research public institution and uh, we're the only public medical school, uh, a medical college in the state of Georgia. We're the only dental college in the state of Georgia. Uh, we've been doing it for a long time, dating back to 1828. And uh, we have grown rapidly. We're closing in on approximately 10,000 total students uh, here at Augusta University. Almost 6,000 of that is our undergrads. What's great about Augusta University is uh, we have a 16 to one student faculty ratio. And so your class sizes are gonna look around, you know, 25 to 30. Um, it won't differ too much from probably what you see in high school uh, today. Some fun facts for you. Um, here in the, the city of Augusta, we're actually the home uh, to James Brown. So we're, we're kind of the city of soul, if you will. Uh, we have a, a many different venues here in the city and uh, we have a lot of things that you can take advantage of. We actually just opened a brand new uh, Top Golf here in the city. We're working on a Dave and Busters and we're just ever growing here in the, in the city of Augusta. And uh, we're excited for, for all of you to hopefully see uh, what we're doing here in Augusta, Georgia. We also have a couple of uh, programs that I think is uh, valuable to talk about, uh, those being our scholars programs. So we have a nursing scholars program as well as a BSMD, DMD. Some refer to those as our seven year programs. Um, those are also our uh, medical and dental scholars. Uh, so a couple names there that you might have heard. And we also have an honors program. Have to mention our honors program because uh, my colleague Grace is a, a product of our honors program. Um, and so they're doing a lot of great things here on campus, but I can't forget the other side of our campus, our liberal arts side. And we're gonna talk about that uh, in a little bit. So we have a, a good variety of things to offer um, here at Augusta University. Now, talking about our uh, freshman class from last year. So we actually enrolled a little over a thousand students and we have really done that the last three to four years, uh, continuing to set records in terms of our incoming class. And it's just a joy to see uh, the number continue to grow and, and to welcome so many to Jaguar Nation here at Augusta University. What's cool is that 12% of that was actually first generation students as well, uh, and 92% coming from Georgia. So um, some home cook in there, um, but we, we have a, a large variety of students, um, very diverse, if you will. Uh, we actually have a, a large array of uh, international flags uh, in our Jaguar Student Activity Center that really represents the countries that are represented here uh, uh, at Augusta University. So uh, lots of diversity and, and, and lots of variety here. Um, at AU. So Augusta University is located in a really cool location. So the circle that you see here in the bottom right is kind of the two and a half hour uh, circle is the way that I refer to that. 
So everything that you see is uh, at most two and a half hours away. And to be honest with you personally, I've traveled to all of these cities frequently. Um, Greenville is about two, two and a half hours away from us. Uh, Atlanta is about two hours. Uh, Savannah is actually where my family's from. So that's a, about a two hour trip for me. Uh, Charlotte's two, two and a half. Um, and Charleston's about two and a half. So any time on the weekends, our students like to get away. It's not far for them to get away. So you can go to the beach, you can go to the city. Lots of opportunities there for our students in terms of location and, and what's close by. Now, some of our top undergraduate majors, as you see, we have a large variety of options there with, between kinesiology, biology, so molecular biology, computer science, and uh, cybersecurity has been a really big one. We've kind of been dubbed as the uh, cybersecurity hub of the Southeast. Uh, so we have a wide variety of things there. Uh, business administration. I would also argue that education is doing a lot of great things uh, as well. Now, I do want to mention a few things. Um, our music department, uh, I mentioned earlier that we have a fine arts side of things or, or a liberal arts side of the campus. And so I want to give them some recognition because we do have um, a lot of national recognition on the health science side of things. So I want to give a shout out to the other side of that world. And, and that's our liberal arts world. And so um, our, our music department actually just invested $3 million into their music department. And so they're really giving a facelift to those, those things and, and rewarding those students on that side of the world, which I think is awesome. We even had a student on the film and cinema side of things who submitted a work to Netflix. Um, so there's just a lot of things that we're doing on both sides of our worlds um, here at Augusta University. So our student life and engagement. So we do have a lot of things to offer and we can talk about those things all day, but uh, really and truly, it doesn't matter what we have if nobody's showing up for it, right? And so this is a great visual to kind of give you an idea of, wow, you do have a lot of things at Augusta University and people show up for it. So we have 176 student organizations. We actually have 12 sorority fraternities. Um, and last year within these organizations, we had over 28,000 people check in. Uh, so that's a really, really big number um, in terms of engagement. And I think that's a great thing. Now I mentioned we're located on the river. So we do rent kayaks. We had over 380 kayak rentals. Uh, we have over 120 intramural teams uh, that exist as well. Uh, and with those teams, we had over 1,100 intramural participants. So again, we have a lot of things that you can get involved in when you consider the 176 organizations and people show up for those things. So it's a very vibrant campus as well. Now, talking about requirements a little bit. Now, uh, on this checklist, the, the main thing that we're focused on this year, I know that we've all been through um, such a roller coaster in, in year 2020. And so just to give you an update where we stand, um, essentially our test scores, it's, it's not a true requirement at this time. We do recommend that you do submit those scores anyways, if you're considering our scholars programs, honors programs, um, they're still working out some details in terms of what that looks like. So test scores will be important if you're looking at those programs, but it can't hurt you. It can only help you. Uh, but the main thing we're looking at is your GPA. And so what that updated requirement looks like is a 3.0 GPA, um, unweighted. And so really think, uh, think about that. Um, you see our average scores here as well. So it just gives you an idea of what our students are doing and producing um, here at Augusta University. So the main thing, once you apply, is we wanna get that transcript turned in. Uh, we wanna see those test scores if you're uh, willing to submit those to us. Um, and then hopefully we can make a decision. And, and for us, those early decisions do release um, in the first week or two of December. Uh, so I hope that answers a lot of questions for you. I hope that gets you excited about Augusta University and we hope to see you soon. Great, thank you so much. We will now pass it off to our presenter from Belmont University. Awesome, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining uh, to learn a little bit more about our various institutions. Hope it ends up being a good night for you. My name is John Paul Murray, and I'm Assistant Director of Admissions at Belmont University, located in Nashville, Tennessee. A little bit of info about us. We are a medium-sized private co-ed Christian institution, again, located right in the heart of Nashville. We have just over 8,200 students total, with about 6,600 of those being undergraduate students. We have had a lot of growth and a lot of expansion in recent years. We have actually tripled in size in the past 20 years. So we have lots of new programs, new buildings for academic purposes, also residence life purposes, but we really maintained a small class size for us. That's incredibly important to us. 
So you'll see for this year, average class size is about 19 students. Student to faculty ratio is 14 to one. So if you're looking for a school where you're going to get to know your professors and get to know other students, you've certainly found that with us here at Belmont. Now our students come from all over the country and internationally as well, including about 28 countries. About 70% of our incoming freshman class every year is from outside of the state of Tennessee. About half of our students are from 500 miles or more away from home when they're on our campus in Nashville. So I bring this up to you just to let you know if you're maybe the only person that you know that's considering Belmont or thinking about Belmont, don't let that scare you whatsoever. Again, our student body comes from all over the place. Georgia is usually one of our larger states that we will pull students from, usually about five, uh, fifth or sixth or so kind of in the rankings, if you will. This just gives you a shot of our campus. Again, very compact. It takes you about 10 to 15 minutes to get from one corner of campus all the way over to the other. Like I mentioned, we are in the middle of Nashville. This is a shot of downtown. We're located about two miles south of downtown. In case you haven't been to our city recently, we have been growing a ton. On average, about 100 people move to the greater Nashville area every single day. So it's important to us that we are leveraging that growth for our students through internships, practicums, clinicals, intensives, some type of real world experience off campus to supplement the learning that you're doing on campus. Of course, we want you to take advantage of all of the fun that's in Nashville as well. And if you have any questions about the city, hit me up in the chat afterwards and we can talk about it a little bit more. From an academic perspective, we have a ton that you can choose from. We have just over 100 different majors and programs in total. Here on the screen, you'll see a listing of all of our various academic colleges all across campus. And here you'll see a listing of our top 10 majors as far as size goes. You'll notice, yes, there's a lot revolving around music, including our largest program on campus, which is music business. That is a business degree. So at the end of the day, you're taking all those businessy classes, but you're getting an understanding of the music industry. Other industry uh, popular programs will include audio engineering technology for students that want to do sound recording or sound engineering, commercial music for students that want to do anything but classical music. Think about pop, rock, jazz, country, Christian soul, anything out there. So there's a lot within the music side of things, but there's a ton more at Belmont as well. Surprised a lot of people to know that nursing is huge for us, second largest major on campus. It is a direct admit program. Biology and psychology have been growing for us a lot. A lot of those students are on some type of pre-med track or pre-OTPT dental. We have tons of graduate level programs. We actually just announced a handful of days ago that we're starting a med school here at Belmont as well. So there's a lot going on from an academic standpoint on our campus. And again, those same small class sizes, regardless of what your major is. From a student life perspective, we want to make sure that you're getting plugged into the student experience. We have just over 160 different student clubs and organizations that you're able to choose from. Maybe that's traditional Greek life on campus, a fraternity or sorority. Maybe that's club or intramural sports. Maybe you want to dive into the music side of things without being a major. You can be in groups, ensembles, choirs, take private lessons without being a major in the School of Music. We're also proud to be NCAA Division I Athletics here at Belmont. All of our athletic events are totally free for our students. Just scan your Belmont ID card when you're able to attend. We'll also host some special events from time to time. Most notably, you may have seen us recently, we hosted the final presidential debate, very topical based on what's going on in our world right now. Uh, that was on our campus just a handful of days ago and went really well. So I'm not saying we always host a debate, but I'm saying we're always looking for really cool and engaging events to bring onto our campus. Just a little bit about our admissions process. Of course, current seniors, you can certainly apply either through the common application or just at belmont.edu. We are test optional for this year, but you'll see here on the screen averages for this past year, that's a 23 to a 30 on the ACT or an 1120 to a 1300 on the SAT. If you choose to submit test scores into us, we will super score for both admission as well as scholarship purposes. But again, test optional for everything. So you're given just as equal a shot if you're applying test optional versus with test scores. Other two things that we need are from your high school, you can see listed here on the screen, that transcript as well as your school counselor recommendation. Once we have all of that, we use rolling admissions. So you should hear something from us within about one to two weeks. So hopefully something relatively soon. On the scholarship side of things, one big thing to keep in mind, your application for admission also serves as your application for any and all merit-based scholarships to the university. So you're automatically considered for all of this just by applying. 
Those general academic merit scholarships on the left-hand side range from three to $10,000. We'll look at a variety of different components. You'll hear about those within about two to three weeks of receiving an admissions decision. Again, you're automatically considered for all of these awards just by applying. Please engage with us online. We are open for in-person visits as well. So if life brings you to Nashville, if you're comfortable with traveling, please feel free to come up and see us. Uh, hit me up with any questions in the Q&A and enjoy the rest of your night, y'all. Great, thank you so much. Uh, we will move on now to our presenter from Brunel University. Uh-oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, can everybody see me? <laughs> Hello, um, I am Hudson with Brunel University, and I'm also here with my colleague Maria Iniguez um, with Brunel as well. And you may be wondering what does Brunel even mean in the first place? It's a super unique name, and it means as gold refined by fire. And we are located in Gainesville, Georgia. So we're about an hour north of Atlanta, an hour and a half from the mountains. Um, we're in a really great small town that is growing pretty quickly. Um, some people call us the mini midtown, kind of like Atlanta has. So we will move on from there. So our application requirements, probably the basic questions you may have. Our application is free on our website, bernal.edu slash apply. It takes about 10 minutes. You can honestly do it on your phone. And we are accepting at a 2.5 core class GPA. So academic courses only, um, not including your electives. And we're also requiring an official transcript. So that would be sent directly by your counselor or your school. And we are ACT, SAT test optional, so not required. You're welcome to send them, um, but it's not required for any acceptance at Brunel. And once again, our application is free and pretty easy. Um, so scholarship opportunities. So a scholarship is awarded based on your um, merit and talent, and it is awarded at your acceptance. So it's pretty quickly awarded. Um, we have talent scholarships, sports, um, music, theater, dance, art, and design. Um, obviously, we're in Georgia, so you have the opportunity for the HOPE Scholarship if you qualify for that. And then legacy scholarships. So if you have a family member or a parent, um, an aunt that came to Brunel, that's an opportunity too. And then also we recommend filing the FAFSA. It opens October 1st. So with that, our financial aid department can make a package for you pretty quickly from there. So a couple of pictures of campus. On the left, you'll see our Bird Center. So this is the home to one of our many theaters. We have five theaters on campus um, where we host tons of events. We have beautiful shows every year. For example, we've had the Wizard of Oz, um, all usually sell out shows. In the middle is our gym. Um, so where our athletes come to train, where you can come work out for free with your tuition. Um, we also have a pool in the gym as well. And then to the far right is one of our dorm rooms. Um, so we have communal style living. And so it's two people to a room sharing a bathroom with two others um, in a room. We also have upperclassmen living, which is our apartments. And we also have sorority houses, which you can live in if you do become a sorority member. And we have eight sororities at Brunel as well. And here are our majors. So we've got five um, different colleges within the university our business and communication department. So a couple of notables are our communication and media, our organizational leadership, our accounting programs in business, education. We've got elementary education. We also have an autism endorsement, as you can see, um, middle grades education and special education. Um, we've got our fine arts college, which has the dance programs, conflict resolution, legal studies, music. We also have a fashion merchandising and design program. We also have theater acting, and we also do have the number one theater program in the Southeast. So that's pretty awesome as well. Those fine arts and humanities departments do qualify um, some for some additional scholarships. Our acting theater, our, um, you have to try out for those as well, but they do um, potentially qualify you for some additional scholarships. 
And so our health sciences departments, we have a new PA program rolling out in 2021. So that's exciting to add to our list, but we have occupational therapy, physical therapy, exercise science, health science, nursing, psychology. And we also have athletics. So here's a couple of our athletic teams, cross country, lacrosse, softball, and we are an NAIA division, um, competitive cheer, dance, and we have women's only athletics here for now. So we have a women's college and a co-ed undergraduate school um, to offer. And finally, our admission specialists. So we are divided up. Um, and you're welcome to take a picture. If you have any questions for us, um, we'll get you routed to the correct person. And here is our address and we hope to hear from you soon and thank you for visiting us tonight. Great, thank you so much. We will now head on to our representative from Bruton Parker College. There we go. All right, we'll jump on here. Hello everyone, my name is Callie Smith. I am with Bruton Parker College Admissions in Mount Vernon, Georgia. We are the only accredited Christian four-year college south of Macon, so covering a big territory of the state. Just to give you a little bit of view of our campus size, you can see our campus here. We are a smaller campus. We have over 200 acres, but only about 100 of those acres are developed. So we have plenty of space for development, which is really good for us because our enrollment rate has been growing at about 48% for the last five years, which we're very excited about. That translates into a little bit over 500 residential students on our campus. And in the classroom that translates into a class size of about 15 to one, giving our students really good one-on-one -on -one time with professors. And that is really beneficial as you get on in your college career and start needing recommendation letters for master's programs, recommendation letters for job positions. It just makes it really specialized for you to have that one-on-one -on -one time with your professors. And as you can see again from our campus map, it really only takes you about 10 minutes to walk from one end of campus all the way to the other. So you don't have to worry about running late for classes or anything like that between your day. We do offer over 20 different degree programs, which are listed here. Um, some concentrations to keep in mind, our biology program does have a concentration in either health professions or ecology. And then we are also very excited that in fall of 2022, we are planning to launch our first ever nursing program. So very excited developments there that will help increase our college size and academics and student number. So really good opportunity there. And then when you jump to business as well, we have concentrations in accounting, general business, business management and information systems, which is more of a side if you wanna do the computer tech side of the business world as well and then a bunch of other options that are here for you um, especially to note with our education programs we've been ranked in the top 25 schools for teacher preparedness in the classroom so definitely an honor that we're very proud of there for our academic program and education in terms of scholarship opportunities for our campus we do have academic scholarships that are merit-based so the higher you score on your SAT and ACT, the higher level of academic scholarships you will move into and be offered. We do have athletic scholarships on our campus and we'll show a little bit of what those teams are a little bit later. We are a Christian college, so we do have a Christian studies scholarship for those majors, if that's something that piques your interest there. We also have music scholarships for our music majors and worship studies majors. Those are actually the highest scholarships offered on campus, offering up to $10,000 per student. So definitely a good opportunity if that's an interest for you as well. We also offer the loan repayment assistant program for students who qualify that can help you with loan repayments if that's a need for you to be able to attend college with us.
So we just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a look on dorm life. These are two, well, actually three of our female dorms, Friendship and Dowling are actually mirror dorms. So they're modeled very similar to give you a little bit of layout of what the female side looks like. And all of our dorms are suite style. So you will be in a room with your roommate and then a bathroom will connect you to your two suite mates on the other side. And here we have some of our male dorms that gives you a really good before and after of what your room would look like when you move in versus when you give it a little tender loving care as well. So you can see that side of things. We have 25 student organizations that are offered on our campus to kind of fit the interests of any students that want to do any kind of student organization work. If we don't have an organization or club that you are interested in, as long as you and nine others commit to being in the organization, you can start the organization or club yourself. And our student government association will actually give you a budget each semester. So you have a little money to work with with your club and organization to help better the campus and do student activities. Um, as you can see in the top picture, we do have a lake on campus that's a big focus for our students and liking to get out in the outdoors and do paddle boating, kayaking, and fishing, and just is a really good green space for our students to be in. We do have 20 NAIA athletic teams. We are in the Southern States Athletic Conference. Um, we have all of these athletic teams that all um, are in our athletic program and you can get athletic scholarships for everything listed here. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely reach out and let me know. We can get you the right coaching contacts if that's something that you would like to pursue. We are a Christian campus, so we have multiple different ways that our students can get involved spiritually on campus, whether it is um, school organized functions such as our weekly chapel services, um, FCA to target our athletes, um, mission trips to different countries or different parts of the United States to help with relief efforts. So we try to tap in and let students have multiple um, experiences and opportunities to get involved and grow in their spiritual life as well. For our remission, admissions requirements, we have just recently made the decision to move to test optional for the 2021 class. As long as you have a high school transcript with a 2.75 GPA or higher, we only need your high school transcript. Um, in the event that you have a lower GPA, we will need to receive those um, test scores and these are the requirements listed there. We do accept dual enrollment transcripts for the state of Georgia, so if you have those transcripts, we encourage you to send those in as well. And here's just some helpful links for y'all. If y'all would like to come visit us, we highly encourage you to do so. We are participating in No Fee November, so you have the free application for the full month. If you do have any questions or concerns that I could help you with, this is my email. So just shoot me an email and I look forward to hearing from you. Excellent, thank you so much. And we will now pass it off to our presenter from Samford University. Hello everyone, I'm so glad that you have joined us. Thanks for hanging on till the very end so you can hear from Samford. Uh, Samford is a liberal arts Christian university in Birmingham, Alabama, about a two and a half hour drive from Atlanta. Um, and so not too far away, but far enough away that you feel like you are definitely away at college. We are a little big school. We have all the fun things that you are looking for in that college experience. Division I sports, we have sororities and fraternities, over 160 student organizations, 20 different intramural and club teams. We have 177 different majors, minors, and concentrations for our students to choose from. We also have uh, about 5,700 total students on our campus. About 3,700 of those are undergraduate students. So that allows us to have a 13 to one student teacher ratio, about an average class size of 18 students in the classroom. Freshman classes are capped at 30, which means there's no large stadium seated classes taught by a graduate teaching assistant. All of our classes are taught by professors who actually enjoy teaching students and mentoring them in their academic processes. 
So that little big environment means you get the individual attention in the classroom with your advisors, but you also have all the experiences that make college so much fun. One of the other great things that we have to offer is an international reach of study abroad programs. We have 50 different programs in 13 different countries. Uh, in fact, 43% of our students travel abroad at some point while they are a student. So that little school in Alabama really does have a great national and international reach when it comes to the things that we're offering our students. This is an image of the center of campus. There's a little more to campus that you can't see right now off to the left and to the right, but this is the academic center of campus. The beautiful quad in the middle is where you will often see students laying on blankets under the trees, throwing a frisbee, all of those stereotypical college things that you see in the movies, but our beautiful campus allows our students to do that. You can see a chapel on either end of this quad, and that really highlights the foundation of our university. We are a Christian university. Um, our students enjoy an environment where they are able to grow in their faith as they choose. Uh, we like to say that it's setting the table with a lot of different opportunities for our students, uh, worship opportunities on campus during the day, uh, small group Bible studies, large event campus outreach, uh, but it's up to the student to determine what they want to take advantage of and what they want to be involved in. And so you're going to grow academically, socially, emotionally, and spiritually making these choices for yourself. Uh, this is an image of our library. Uh, our students enjoy being in community with each other. So they don't go back to their dorm room to study. They study in the library. They study in the university center. As I said, sometimes they'll study outside under a tree. Uh, we also have an Eno village on our campus where uh, we've got these beautiful uh, mature oak trees and the students will hang their Enos from the trees as soon as they get to campus and leave them there all year. So that's a a really popular study spot as well. In the library, uh, your, your study spaces are divided. The bottom floor is a conversation floor. So you can have study groups. There's an Einstein Brothers uh, bagels and you can grab some coffee, sit in a comfy leather chair and study. The second level is a whisper level. So you can sit with your friends or your study group, but you need to whisper. And then the third level that you see is the silent level. If you try to open a bag of chips or start a conversation, someone could throw a book at you. We have fabulous uh, College of Health Sciences with great technology in our interdisciplinary work with pharmacy, nursing, kinesiology, sports medicine, physical therapy, our PA school. Um, all of this is in the College of Health Sciences. Our admission rate to uh, medical school over the past 13 years has averaged above 68%, which is far above the national average for our students. You can see the mechanical patients that our students get to work with in the classroom so that they have great experiences before they ever go do their clinicals. Our School of Business offers incredible opportunities for our students. Uh, what you see here is our ticker room, is what I call it. Uh, we have a Bulldog Fund that our students are investing $2.3 million in the stock exchange, and they are um, above trends, but our students are getting that real world experience. We also have a data analytics center that looks similar to that where our students are able to run data and um, information kind of like Moneyball for sports uh, in these huge, fabulous labs. We also enjoy our sports teams. We are in the Southern Conference and um, so we have football, basketball, baseball, softball, 17 different uh, division one sports teams in all. And as you can see, our students enjoy gathering together and cheering on our Bulldogs all throughout the year. So we have a tradition of spiritual and intellectual development. This is our legacy. Um, our timeline for our application this year 
I just want you to notice that December 1, that's our priority scholarship deadline. And so we hope that you'll take advantage of that in order to maximize your scholarship opportunities. We have holistic admission and scholarship decisions. And so we're gonna take a look at your application, your essay, your test scores, a letter of recommendation. And um, we also want you to know that this year, should you need it, we have the opportunity for students to apply with that test score being optional. And so you can choose the way that you want to apply to Sanford, whether using that test score or not. The middle 50% of our students have an ACT between 23 and 29, SAT 1130 to 1350, and the GPA is 3.48 to 4.1. So I hope that you guys will get in touch with me so that we can talk about the fabulous ways that you might be a great fit for Sanford. I can help you maximize your scholarship and financial aid opportunities as well. And I thank you for, um, for logging in with us tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, students, we do have just a little bit more time uh, this evening with our presenters. So I do really want to encourage you if, you, if a question came up during those presentations, something you're wondering about, or even just wanting to make sure to connect with these folks before um, the end of our 45 minutes, please use that Q&A below and our folks will get back to you. Uh, but because we do have a little bit of extra time, just once uh, university unfortunately was not able to log on this evening, uh, that means we do have about an, an extra minute with each of our universities for them to give us maybe final thoughts, anything uh, that they didn't get to cover maybe a cool campus tradition to share uh, with our students uh, before we head out for uh, the end of our evening. So we're gonna head, go ahead and uh, give it to Augusta University for a minute of final thoughts. Hey, thank you. Yeah, so uh, one of our traditions that we have on campus, uh, we call it the penny tradition, if you will. Uh, and so when you enroll uh, here at Augusta, you uh, toss a penny into the fountain. And then when you graduate to close your chapter, you toss a penny into the fountain again. Um, so it's just a little bit of good luck throughout your college uh, career while you're here at Augusta University. And um, that's, I think, pretty much it for us. Awesome. Thanks so much. Belmont, final thoughts? Yeah. One thing that I didn't mention that I'll um, talk about briefly would be kind of our study abroad, study away options. Of course, um, you're going to find really great study abroad options for us here at Belmont. We truly go all over the globe. It works with all of our majors, even our more time intensive majors like nursing or music education, for example. But we also have some really unique programs that are based here in the States that are called Belmont USA. Um, the kind of focus locations are New York City and Los Angeles. The ideas for the duration of a semester, you're living with other Belmont students and housing that we have in those cities, uh, taking Belmont classes, and you have a full-time internship for credit for the duration of that semester. So a really cool option for students that maybe see themselves moving to New York or LA after graduation, especially those within the entertainment industry, business, government, those worlds. Great way that you can connect within those cities, connect with our young alumni that are based there as well. Um, and hopefully those connections lead to a job ultimately after graduation or grad school or internships, all of that. So some really cool options. Again, that's called Belmont USA. So just wanted to mention that. Awesome. Thanks for that. And on to uh, Brunel University. Hello. Um, I had two things I wanted to mention. First, um, we are rolling admissions, so no early um, apply deadline, none of that. Um, but I do recommend the sooner the better, because the sooner you'll be able to know that you're accepted and um, financial aid can work on your financial aid package and you'll know where you are financially. Um, and second thing is we have a tea room on campus and that's actually a Starbucks. And we also have like a subway line too. So it's really cool and you can use your dining dollars for that. I'm saying that because that's my favorite place. So I'm a big Starbucks person, so. And also, and also I am Maria Iniguez, uh, the bilingual admissions specialist at Bernard University. We are offering service in Spanish and I can help students and parents with questions. Excellent. Gracias. That's very good to know. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, Bruton Parker College, final thoughts? I was going to share one of our traditions. Um, Gates Hall is our oldest building on campus. It's the only building still standing from 1904. Um, in the upstairs portion of Gates Hall, there is a 1970s style theater. Still has the original wooden seats that are still in real condition. Um, the light system for the stage of the auditorium is still on a wooden catwalk that you have to walk across and manually operate. So it's a really cool auditorium location for some of our larger classes to be in if needed. A tradition that has come into play with our students is the old backstage areas that used to be the old dressing rooms, old makeup rooms have actually become signing walls. So if you happen to make it your freshman year all the way through to your graduation, the night before graduation, you actually go up to Gates Auditorium and you get to sign the wall. You say what class you, you were a member of, if you had any campus nicknames or anything like that, you list those as well. So it's very popular with our ensemble groups. All of our Greek life has signed up in that area and any students that happen to catch on to the tradition because it's definitely by word of mouth. Um, that's a tradition that our students have definitely really enjoyed and come back as alumni to find their names along the walls again. So just kind of a fun one there. That's awesome. And final thoughts from Samford. One of the best traditions at Samford is step sing. This is a song and dance competition. And I know you're thinking I would never, ever get up in front of people and sing and dance, but you would because over 1500 of our students are involved in step sing every year. Uh, there are about 16 teams. Each team has 60 to 75 students included dancing. It's a little bit like pitch perfect. Um, and so uh, they choose a theme. They sing snippets of about seven to eight songs. Some of the great themes that we've had in the past years, last year's winner was one of the fraternities and they were cavemen. Uh, the year before that, one of the sororities won and they were, they dressed as little army men and they were chased by a giant Roomba. So very creative ideas. It's very fun, lots of screaming and uh, cheering each other on. It's a great community activity at Sanford raises some good money for local charities every single year. So if you want to get on YouTube and search for Samford Step Sing, you'll see what I'm talking about. And I also wanted to tell you guys, we have in-person campus visits six days a week. We would love to host you on campus. We have golf cart tours. We're being distanced from each other wearing masks, but it's still a great time to come out and get a feel for what college life is really like. Awesome, those were some great final thoughts. Awesome, cool campus traditions as well. Students, before you head out from this webinar, a couple of things I wanna share with you. Uh, when you click out of the Zoom webinar, you will be asked four quick questions. If you could answer those for us, it really helps. Um, us, if our world is going to still be partially virtual for a little bit longer, uh, we want to try to create the best programming we can for you on your college search. Um, as well, StarScan is offering more sessions in the future, so check out their website or also this website where you register to see if there will be future programming coming soon. And also this recording will be available on that same site where you registered shortly after, usually within a few days. Um, so I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening and have a nice night. Thanks for presenting. Thanks for attending. Thanks, everyone. And good night. Bye. Thank you.